In this video, I am going to talk about uh, a very popular uh, concept in uh, building predictive model that is uh, the prediction versus the interpretability um, trade off. Okay, so let us first uh, understand um, what is a prediction model and what is a model that is built uh, for interpretation purposes. Uh, well, when we build prediction, uh, when we build um, predictive models or any statistical model, um, the objective um, of building models um, could be categorized into three uh, types, basically into two types and then there are two subtypes in the predictions. Uh, firstly, uh, it could be to predict something uh, or uh, it could be to interpret something okay so let's get into the details of what is prediction and what is interpretation okay um, your model objective could be uh, to figure out uh, whether a fraud has happened whether uh, a customer a customer is good or bad so that could be one of the prediction or else your model could be to predict uh, uh, the stock price, right? Stock price uh, for tomorrow, for uh, a week after, um, or uh, after one month or one year. So that is about forecasting something in future, whereas this is uh, about predicting uh, a particular uh, event or a particular attribute. Okay. On the other hand, uh, interpretation is different. Interpretation, uh, when the objective of the, of the model is to interpret something, uh, the focus is uh, not on uh, prediction. That means we don't really want to predict a behavior or predict uh, something in future. Uh, instead, uh, our focus is more on finding out relationship between uh, two important attributes. Okay, so uh, say for example, uh, we have got two important attributes. One is uh, inflation, uh, and the other one is uh, unemployment. So we would like to know how um, unemployment is related to inflation, and we will also like to know that if um, if inflation goes up by um, a certain percentage uh, what is going to be its impact on uh, unemployment and and also uh, if um, if uh, maybe you know we can take any other variables um, depending on uh, the kind of relationship that we want to find um, so in this case uh, we do not use this model to forecast inflation we instead uh, use this to find out only the relationship between uh, these two uh, attributes okay and we also try to find out the marginal impact of one attribute on the other so what is marginal impact well we want to know if something is changing what is its corresponding impact on the other variable right um, so if uh, inflation goes up um, from four to six what is uh, the corresponding change in the uh, unemployment okay so that is nothing but the marginal impact uh, of change in inflation on change in um, uh, on employ unemployment okay so that's the basic difference between predict uh, the model built for prediction purpose and the model built for interpretation purpose now uh, let's see uh, how the actual models are uh, chosen and how will, how will you go for uh, a particular model uh, based on the objective. Well, uh, let's look at uh, a few uh, examples. Uh, so here is a linear model where it is a y equal to a plus bx. So y is a function of x. It is a sim very simple model where uh, the function f is linear um, in parameter and it's simple to interpret that means if x is equal to 1 you can always find out what is y uh, and then if x change by 
uh, an amount del x, you'll always be able to find out what is uh, del of y, right? Um, very easy to do that, right? Now let's go to another type of model known as polynomial model where we have taken a uh, higher degree of uh, the uh, attribute x. Now this is slightly more difficult to interpret given that we have used a squared term here. So finding out relationship between x, uh, y and x when there is a squared term is slightly more difficult to interpret, right? Here you can simply, um, you know, Say for example here uh, x is equal to 1 um, and then you find out what is uh, y then change it to x is equal to 2 and then you will find some other value of uh, y uh, and then take the difference and you will see what exactly is the change in uh, y. So it is very easy. The same thing is little more difficult when there is a square term because um, because uh, uh, you know, if you take the first derivative in this case uh, with respect to x, you only have a plus b, uh, a plus b. Um, okay, but in this case, uh, if you take the marginal impact, you have a plus b multiplied to x. That means the x term still is there, and it's difficult to uh, interpret that uh, uh, or the relationship is difficult to interpret. It's always good to interpret a model if the marginal impact uh, has only um, the beta estimates. Okay. Now let's see the third type of uh, models uh, known as the nonlinear models. Well, the nonlinear models um, is 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 a kind of model where the parameters uh, or the model is uh, nonlinear in parameters okay uh, like in this case you have 1 by b so b is the parameter here and uh, that is a nonlinear term that means uh, the form of the, uh, the model is nonlinear in parameters right uh, there are two parameters a and b and it's a nonlinear parameter uh, had it been like b square, that's also nonlinear. Logarithm of b, that's also nonlinear. So in this, the polynomial one is a nonlinear in um, the attribute, um, but it's linear in its parameters, right? But this is nonlinear in parameter. So uh, that is even more difficult to interpret. Um, and then the, another set of model known as the non-parametric model, which do not take any uh, you know um, assumption of functional form of uh, f uh, beforehand, right? Like in this case, in linear model, we would say that it's going to be a straight line relationship. Okay, uh, between x and y, there is a straight line relationship. In non-parametric models, mm, um, there is no assumption as such. So it's little more difficult to compute the parameters, uh, sorry, compute uh, the functional form of the uh, relationship, but um, it has its own advantages as well, but it's difficult to interpret. So when it comes to interpretation, it is always advisable to go with linear models uh, and simple statistical model, which uh, is uh, easy uh, or much easier to uh, interpret. But it has got uh, its own demerits as well. Uh, linear models are not able to uh, give you uh, a good prediction because most of the um, relationship uh, in real world is actually non-linear. Um, you, you will hardly come across anything where there is a straight line relationship between uh, different variables. Like in this case, uh, the relationship between x and y, you will see that um, a straight line fit, uh, the one, the yellow one, is not a good fit to this particular uh, distribution of data. Whereas the nonlinear one um, are fitting to the data much more. So when it comes to primarily for prediction purpose, the nonlinear models uh, or the non-parametric models do a much better job, and we don't really care whether uh, the interpretation uh, is uh, easy or difficult because that's not the main objective. So that's how uh, normally people choose which model to use. 
so prediction purpose uh, it's always good to go with uh, more complicated uh, non linear or um, parametric uh, sorry non parametric model whereas for um, simple inferences uh, it is uh, good to go with uh, linear models uh, like uh, simple linear uh, regression or multiple linear regression 